I need you to carry my camera, Sherry. Because we, we are live. Yeah. And here we are. Woo! Ooh. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. As always, if you're a regular viewer, welcome back. Today, I am here with Sherry. Yep. Is there no sound? Is it, can, can you hear the sound? Someone said there's no sound. Yay, sound. And literally What's just that? as we went to start this live stream, it started raining, which is unfortunate because the rain had finally stopped. So that, that's too bad. Yeah. So how's it going, everybody? I just want to let you all know that we are live here in Hirosaki, Aomori, Japan. It is, I was going to say it's a beautiful day, but it just feels beautiful. It's not, it's not actually a beautiful day at all. And don't worry, Sherry, I'm not going to run. So you don't <laughs> have to you. run to keep up with me. Um, it, this, this rain, it just, it just hit. It just started. It wasn't yep. raining before. But you know what? We're going to do it until either the gimbal or the phone malfunctions. So we'll just go for it, right? So I am up here for the Tsugaru Shamisen Taikai. And it's wonderful because there's still sakura here in Hirosaki and all the sakura in Tokyo is long since gone, but it, yeah, it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Woo. I am loving every little bit of it. So yeah, and just to let you guys know, I did just release a video this morning. When the live stream is done, I'm going to link it up here so you can all check it out. You can all enjoy it. Um, again, this here uh, live stream is brought to you thanks to iVideo. Again, not sponsored. It's just they, they gave me the Wi-Fi router. And, I, you know, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to be live streaming with you guys. So today, as we walk around the Hirosaki area and do a little exploration together, I was thinking maybe I could do a little bit of a shamisen related Q&A with you guys. I'm going to try and keep up with the comments. If I miss anything, just post it again and let me know. But again, look at how spectacularly gorgeous all of this is. I love this area. Nice. Isn't it nice though? Beautiful. It really, really is. So... I'm just so happy to see all of these sakura again been far too long and I just oh I can't and like poor Sherry's got to carry all the camera gear so thank you Sherry thank you so much for being willing to carry all that Molly you are an angel thank you so much Molly just gave us a two dollar oh, tip you. you're making my day you know what we might actually go out and get ourselves some nice food today in celebration of this and look at how beautiful this bridge is check this out I love this You, uh, you don't really get that in Tokyo, do you? No. And everyone's saying they love you, Sherry. You're awesome, Sherry. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, it is. There's a boat out there. It is gorgeous. So let me turn this back around. So there we are, guys. Right now we are out, as I said, in Hirosaki Park. We're right near Hirosaki Castle. Rocking the gimbal today, rocking the pink jacket because <laughs> that that's that's what we do, right? Yep. <laughs> um, and actually, there have been a whole bunch of firsts for Sherry in this whole experience. Yes. Like seeing this many Tsugaru Shamisen all at once. Yep. Actually, I haven't played in the competition yet. We will get to the Q&A in just a second. I promise you guys. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Love this. It's a huge park. It is. It is a really, really big park. So, whew. so yeah, guys. Um, I guess I will start by talking about the uh, the shamisen competition. Give you guys a little bit of a rundown. So, starting with Sherry and all of her firsts. So this is your first time out to Aomori, right? Yes. Sherry has never been up to Aomori. She's been to northern Japan. She came to uh, Sapporo. Yeah. 
Hokkaido. She went to Hokkaido like maybe two weeks ago? No, that was like a month ago. It was like a month ago already? Yeah. Woo! I uploaded the video like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's why I felt like it was two weeks ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and this is Sherry's first time to see this many shamisen. When we walked into the hall with all the shamisen, it's incredibly, incredibly loud. Yeah. <laughs> There's like probably a hundred shamisen players going all at once and they're just going absolutely insane. And again, this is just so beautiful. So everyone's going so loud, I just, oh. And so we had to get out of there. Yeah. We figured it'd be a perfect opportunity to come out, do a live stream with you guys, connect with some of you, just say hello, and do a little bit of a shamisen related Q&A. The best part is, one of the next videos that I'm gonna put up, you guys will actually finally get to hear me play the Sugara Shamisen. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm not nervous, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So that's gonna be absolutely spectacular. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that one. And then, as a huge thank you to every single one of you who join in for the live stream, I'm hoping that tomorrow or the next day, I wanna do a me playing Tsugaru Jamisen live stream with you guys. So, and the announcements here are kinda loud, so if you're hearing all that, I'm sorry, but. Look at this area though. Isn't this spectacular? Oh yeah. So, is that a temple? It's, whatever it is, it's it's under construction. <laughs> it is. It's um <laughs> So as you guys I'm gonna try and hold this this way. As you guys I, I don't even know if I'm in there. That is really loud. As you guys can tell, Sherry is in a great mood. She's having a really good time. And so. And you know what? I gotta I got get away from this speaker. The speaker is like the loudest thing in the world. Woo! Let us, let us get over here where the speaker's not yelling at us. Let's run away. Wait, no running. I already promised Sherry. I promised Sherry. Like, look, look at the entrance to this area here. Yeah, like I know this looks good on the video guys, but this looks even more beautiful in person. So, I honestly don't know what I'm happier about at this point. I don't know if I'm happier that we're just live with everybody and we get to spend time with you guys. I don't know if I'm happier that I'm at the Shamisen competition, or I don't know if I'm happier that we get to enjoy Sakura again. <laughs> All of those, it's just an incredible, up here Gimbal. All of those are just an incredibly difficult choice. So, and we just, we can't escape the announcements. So if you're hearing all the announcements, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Just let me, let me know if it's, if it's too much and we'll, do, we'll just reschedule the live stream. No, we won't. No, we won't. So it's actually kind of cold here. Um, we were surprised at the temperature. When we arrived, Sherry was just wearing like a sleeveless shirt with a cardigan over it. And she's yes. like, I, I gotta go buy some clothing because this is just too much. And, I and, bought this. and she, yeah, she bought the sweater that she's <laughs> wearing now. So all of that being said, why don't we start a little bit of a Tsugaru Shamisen Q and A with you guys? I'd love to get your questions. Your questions about Hirosaki area. Your questions about the tournament. Your questions about Shamisen in general. Any questions that you have, start popping them in, and I'll do whatever I can to answer as many of them as possible. Look at this. Just love the view here. I cannot get over this. All right, so what is the typical price for a starter chamisen and any online store that ships? Okay, so I don't know about online stores that ship. You might have to do a little bit of research on that one. You can get cheap shamisen for as low as like 300 bucks, but they're not gonna be very good quality. They'll wear out really quick. The sound will be awful. I'd say a good starter one starts at about $1,000. And if you want a decent starter one that'll last you a good like five, six years, I would say go for one that's two to three thousand dollars. There's a lot of online English resources for shamisen, which I wouldn't really recommend. I would recommend that if you're gonna get into it, get into it and do it Japanese style if you can. At the very least, it's a great reason to learn Japanese. So, 
I know. Look at these here. Let's let we're gonna take a cheese. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's so nice. It is so nice. I'm absolutely. And are there good music teachers or schools in Japan? There are. There are actually Japanese teachers who have like a decent enough level of English that they could teach you shamisen in English. So that's a thing. And now I'm, I gotta scroll through because I'm like, what if you want to learn outside of. Okay, give me a second. Aomori, where should I visit other than Hiroseki? Okay, so Aomori is really good. There's this, the Aomori Plain, and there's all these areas like Hiroseki and Kanagi, Goshogawara, and stuff like that. You really can't go wrong. Another thing that's really interesting is that the Starbucks out here all have these like limited edition glasses that are made just for this area. Yeah, I want to see those. How intense of a feeling do you get when you play shamisen? That's really hard to put into words. That's incredibly, let's just put it this way. One of the only times where I feel like I'm truly alive, truly living is when I'm playing shamisen. I love, I love having the opportunity to work with you guys, chat with you, do these live streams and videos and everything like that. But playing the shamisen just makes me feel like I am living and I'm just, I'm loving these. Look at this. And it sounds like there might be some kind of taiko uh, thing going on. So, all right. Are you having fun yet, Sherry? Yeah, those tulips. Yeah, yeah, there's tulips over here too. Okay, so what are the skills that are tested at a shamisen competition? You are tested on one single song which is Tsugaru Jongarabushi. Each person makes their own version of it, plays it, and then you're just judged on how well you play, the sound, um, the clarity, the rhythm, things like that. So, and the next one was uh, how long have you been playing? I have been playing the Tsugaru Zemisen for a total of five years. And for those of you who don't know, I kind of got lucky. I wouldn't say lucky, it's not luck. None of it's luck, to be honest. I have a good teacher. I'm learning from the ye legendary Yoshida brothers and that was like a three year project just to land that. So, all right, let's see what else I'm missing here. Can you major in shamisen study in Japan? I don't know. Maybe like in music school? Maybe. And why are the, why is Tsugaru Jongarabushi so special? Okay, you're right. There are a lot of, what's up, man? There are a lot of Tsugaru songs out there, but the main song is Tsugaru Jongarabushi. The reason for it is that it is the story of the four seasons in the Tsugaru area. There are like things that you can read online that'll tell you about like the progression of the song and how it relates to the seasons and everything like that. But each player receives the Tsugaru Jongarabushi from their master or their teacher and then puts together their own version of it. And that, that's why everyone's tested and judged on that. And like, I hear drums and I'm like, where is this coming from? And so, thanks so much, Tokyo Drew. Always great to have you here. Hi. So right now we're working, walking through an area with Yatai. Lots of food shops out here. Uh, I'm getting hungry. And Sherry's getting hungry, so we, we might actually yeah. might actually get some food. Yeah. Do you guys what, what do you guys want to eat? You guys are with us. <laughs> I kind of kind of want to know it. And that is a really really red dress. That is like awesomely red. I love. It. It's it's more red than my jacket is pink. <laughs> and how many times a day do you practice? I practice shamisen almost on the same schedule that I exercise once in the morning and once at night. My shamisen practice, I try to get in one to two hours on like my day, like my, my free days where I have the time. If it's a really busy day, it might just be an hour total for the entire day. And you can hear the taiko sound getting closer and closer. Have I missed any questions here? I'm just checking if I missed any questions. And uh, you know what? We're gonna go check out this Taiko.
Sherry's yelling at me saying, you said no running. Sorry, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on here too. Someone said, hey, no running. <laughs> All right, I won't run anymore. Gosh, guys. Someone on uh, on the last live stream made a comment that it was like the uh, like watching an RPG and like the assist character was in the background trying to keep up. So that's... Uh, um, yeah, and sorry if the video's skipping. I'll try and keep Sherry close by. The Wi-Fi's in her backpack. Uh, Any crazy stories about Shamisen history? Yes, I might have some, but I kind of feel like my voice is going to get drowned out by this Taiko in just a minute. So let's go check out the Taiko. I'm like trying to dodge puddles here as we walk. Stay close, you've got the Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, look at this. Here we go guys, we got some live Taiko show going on here. This is a really nice addition to today's video, eh? Yeah. I feel like we may have arrived at the wrong time. <laughs> so. Maybe. Yep. There's another group or two. There you're. Uh, no. They're leaving. So. We're gonna wait here just a little longer. Yep. Looks like more people are coming out. Let's walk over this way. Check out the area. Maybe look at some yatai. Check out some food because I think that Sherry is definitely getting hungry and there's so much good food here right now. What do you think, Sherry? I don't know. Yeah, there's like a lot of oden and whatnot. There's yakisoba, there's takoyaki. <laughs> yeah? Which one? Sorry, I wasn't actually listening. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, wow, yay. Yeah, kingyo. Don't eat them. Yeah, don't, don't eat the kingyo. Exactly. Wow, there it is. Like, Oh, there's karage? Shall we? Is it fresh? Let's grab one. Here, I'll hold this. Okay. All right, so Sherry's gonna grab some food. Very excited about this. And what are you And the Taiko is starting back up, so we think that the food is going to end up. Huh? Bug kind of Wi-Fi does to Marathi. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I'm say someone's saying that they have no audio. Can you guys hear us? Oh, really? The mic only works when it's this way. Huh. So, Sherry, apparently the mic only works when it's facing us. 
Yeah, so we learned something now. Thank you very much. No. It'll be in the black bag. Like a black pouch. All right, guys, let's go check out this Tyco. I'm glad that you enjoyed the jacket. I just, I love the look of like the water and the, the sakura here. It's really hard not to step in it, but still. All right, guys, so do you have any more questions about Shamisen or the Taikai or the Aomori area or anything? If you do, this is the time. I'm more than glad to answer them for you. I'm gonna see if I can balance this thing on a rock. That way we can just... I feel like this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Why does the Shaisen have three strings? B because it doesn't have four or two. I, I actually, well, the name Shamisen, do you want to explain the name Shamisen? Well, Shamisen is... Uh, first kanji, the Japanese letter is three, one, two, three, and that means and it means like taste, right? So I don't. Yeah, know like that. like like. But the last kanji is like a line, so three strings, lines. Strings, yeah. Strings. So the kanji for shamisen, the, the Chinese character, is three flavored strings, basically, and each string has its own sound, its own aji, its own feeling, its own taste, if you will. And so that's why it's called a shamisen. So I don't know why it has three, but I know why it's named a shamisen. So let's see if I missed anything. The sakura doesn't really have a strong scent at all, eh? No. It's amazing how many people are still doing hanami over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So uh, surprised to see that many people doing hanami. And do you have a favorite song to play or do you prefer to improvise? I'm really focused on getting my Tsugara Jongara Bushi nailed down just right. So I spend a lot of time playing that song. There's a few other songs that the Yoshida Brothers are currently teaching me that I'm trying to pick up. And so, yeah, I would say probably Tsugara Jongara Bushi is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna steal one of these. And what is Sherry eating? This is yakitori. It's like fried chicken on a stick and wow, grilled. delicious. Grilled? Yeah. It's grilled. Why did I say fried? <laughs> it's not fried. It's grilled chicken on a stick. And I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm sorry. There we go. And have you been to Aomori before? I have. Sherry hasn't. Oh, there's a good one. How long does it take to learn a song on Shamisen? A long time, actually. The first song I learned on the Shamisen was a song called Dokudan. And Dokudan took me the better part of a year to learn. My Tsugaru Jongarabushi. I learned in about a year and then spent another three years modifying it 
to be the version that I play at the Tai Kai. This is really good. It is. <laughs> oh. Good choice, Sherry. Very good choice, Sherry. All right, next. Ooh, got a couple coming in here. Hmm? What would you say is the hardest part of learning to play the shamisen? I would say almost definitely the hardest part is learning how to hold the bachi, the plectrum that you play with, because the bachi is very, very difficult to use. And like, if your finger's off by a millimeter or the way you strike is off by a millimeter, it totally changes the sound. But that's part of the challenge, so I like that. Can I interrupt? Yeah. A lot of people holding this with a black square thing. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You know, like, this woman here, she's got a black square in her hand. Kind of old end. Yeah, but I've never seen that. Never seen that black. before, ever. And the bachi is very large, yes. Oops. And the price difference between the nylon and the silk strings, the price difference is huge. The smallest string, which is the San no Ito, which makes the high pitch color. The middle string costs two to three dollars. And then the thick out of silk is incredibly expensive at 10 to 15 dollars per string. And you go through them like crazy. I go through one like, like oh, I'd say at least once a week. And are there sheet music for shamisen, kind of, but it's not really how you learn it. You learn it from copying your teacher who sits in front of you and plays and then you copy what he does. Um, how many shamisen, how many shamisen competitions have you competed in? This will be my second official Hirosaki competition. Um, yeah, I'd say in terms of competitions, two in total. Last year, I took home a prize out of like the the 90 people that played. Somehow, I ranked in the top 10. Yay! So that was kind of amazing. I was really, really surprised and excited about that. I was like giddy like a child last year. <laughs> it was it was not. And in terms of wow, okay, we just got like a like like. 20 things all at once. So let us read through this for a second. And All right, two or three quick questions. Number one, do you have a P.O. box? No, but one is gonna be coming soon. A lot of people have been asking me about a P.O. box and I wanna be able to bring that to you guys. So we'll do a P.O. box real soon. Number two, do you make a living off of playing the shamisen? Not yet, but that's the goal is to eventually be able to make uh, living off of playing the shamisen and I think oh I'm uh, and when are you going to do a video about weight loss? July <laughs> I've, I've already got a plan. <laughs> I've got the majority of my videos planned out from now to July except for like additional stuff that comes up But yeah, there's gonna be a decent video coming out in July talking about how I lost 20 kilograms. What's that like 45 pounds? Yeah, it's insane it was a lot of weight loss. So, so, whew. it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be an exciting video. Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to make an exciting video. All right, guys. So that I think that's the bulk of the Q and A part of this. If you guys do have any more questions, obviously, don't don't hold back on uh, don't hold back on asking, but. The biggest thing is just self-control. Like I'll give one or two tips right now. Like, I was I was genuinely kind of fat. Like, <laughs> like, like I was, you can do the calculation on your end. I think it's something like 200 pounds. I was like 92 kilograms and managed to cut that down to 72 kilograms. And that's after once dropping it down as far as 68 and then adding some muscle. So, cause I, I didn't have any of that back then either. So, but the biggest thing is just self-control, calorie control, doing something every single day and sticking to it. So, and are we having a good time in Aomori so far? Yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was way more cold than, than we were expecting. Oh yeah. 
like way more colder. We arrived and poor Sherry was oh walking God. around like this all day. I'll, again, it's it's in the video that I linked at the beginning. <laughs> but uh, how long does it take to learn each string's sound? I'd say to get fully comfortable with the shamisen, it took me about... So... You carry this camera every day. It's super there we heavy. go. Now there's a question from Sherry. Oh yeah. How do you carry this camera every day? Ah, uh, me. Okay. Yeah, because like, if you guys see, Sherry's carrying my camera right uh, now. Super heavy. Yeah. Um. It uh. You get used to it. It's not light. That's for sure, but. I like you vlog with one hand, right? Nope. Oh. I vlog with it like this. So it starts out pretty heavy, but it uh it gets it gets better. Okay. Well somebody's playing yep. shamisen up here. Someone just asked, how did I get into the shamisen? I did an entire video on how I got into the shamisen. Uh, it's called My Biggest Mistake. Definitely check that out, but I'll give you a super short answer right now. Oh, Christina. Aw, thank you for thank the $5, you. Christina. We love you. We love all of you. <laughs> we really do. Like, just the fact that we can, like, walk through this park and have the chance to talk to you guys is just so nice. Can you guys hear the shamisen already? So... The, the, the short version of how I got into the Tsugaru Zemisen is I started, I lived in Japan once, a lot of stuff happened, I ended up going back, a good friend of mine gave me a CD of the Yoshida Brothers, I was inspired, I was like, I gotta, I've, I've gotta get back to Japan, I came back to Japan, I bought a race car, the race car uh, was, it was scary powerful, <laughs> I crashed it within a year, and then after that, I was like, you know what? I need, I need a safer, I need a safer hobby. Yeah. I need to do something safer. I need to do something bigger with. What's up, man? How you doing? How's it going? Uh, I need to do something bigger with my life, and I decided to set an impossible dream of um, chasing the dream. Uh, where's my English? I've been speaking <laughs> Japanese like for the last three days, right. so I'm I'm losing my my English completely. I decided I need to do something bigger with my life. And what I wanted to do is become an apprentice of the Yoshida Brothers. Spent three years searching for how to do that, chasing that goal. And that brings us to where we are now. And you can hear some shamisen being played back here. It's nice, eh? Yeah, it's nice yeah. to be able to stand here and like talk about shamisen. Uh, and there's food? Yeah, you can like order some bento or like snacks. And Samurai Kai, I did get my apprenticeship. To this day, as of five years ago, I, uh, I, am, the, I am the only English-speaking non-Japanese apprentice of the Yoshida Brothers. I meet with them every single month. And it's entirely because of them that I have the life that I have right now. So, can I eat the last one? You can eat the last one. Of course, you can eat the yeah. last one. So, thank you very much for that. It was an exciting journey. It was a very, very exciting journey. So, I almost don't want to leave here just because we've got like the nice sound <laughs> of the shamisen and everything. So, I'm like, I'm on the fence, dude. Do I go? Do, do I stay? Do I go? Do I stay? All right. Yay! Glad you were able to catch the live streams. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk because otherwise I'll probably like if we go back to the uh, the tournament hall. There's like hundreds of shamisen playing right there. I can listen to it as much as I want, but there's something different listening to it at the hall and listening to it at a place like this. At the hall is, uh, you mean like the competition? Yeah, at the competition. Uh, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, I like, think in the hall is just mess. But... It is, it is. It's, it's so loud. <laughs> it's so loud, but at the same time, so really much fun. Place. And one of my favorite questions has come up again. Norm, are you going to visit Charlotte in Korea? Of course. 
Of course I'm gonna visit Sharla in Korea. It's just a matter of timing and like when I can get out there when our schedules match and everything. It's like, uh, I just, I, I, I can't wait to get I'm out there. Yeah, Sherry's gonna be going out to visit Sharla in Korea as well. The nice thing is that like Korea and Japan are really close to each other, so right. it's not that hard to get out there. It's not that expensive, but mm -hmm. kind of the same as when Sharla lived in Chiba and I lived in Tokyo. It's more about scheduling than anything else. And I feel like I missed her. Uh, and let's see, yeah, yeah, the Korea vlogs are definitely definitely gonna be fun and no no sherry and i are not going out this one keeps coming up and i want to like we, we just want to make this yeah <laughs> really really clear um that that that's not a thing that's not a thing that's not a thing at all like not not like you or anything like that <laughs> I hate you. It's just, you. I just get Yay. away from me. You know what? I'm going to walk on this side of the bridge. You walk on that side. You know how we had that no running rule? Well, guess what? No. <laughs> she doesn't even try to keep up. She's just like, you're no. gone. So, yeah. <sighs> well, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate the love from everyone. Well, you guys should be. You're so Aww. adorable. Look at that boat. So There's like cute. a guy with a stick. Like pushing the boat. I don't know how well you can see that. It's like 720p, so it's not the highest resolution. So. All right. Loving your videos at editing. Thank you. I don't know if you remember it did the. Uh, da -da -da. So. There we are, guys. And this, this is just the beauty of the Hirosaki area. I absolutely love it. I am just, there we go. And let's see, I'm just, I'm just enjoying being with everybody and like reading the comments. I'm not even speaking <laughs> right now. I'm just like standing here. Ooh, I'm so glad that you were finally able to catch one of the live streams. That's really exciting. I like, I keep, even though we already got food, I see the yatai here and I'm like, I, I kind of want to get more food. Oh, we can get some dessert. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea for dessert. I'm thinking, you like matcha? Yeah. I, I feel a matcha latte coming on. <gasps> matcha latte. Or a matcha frappuccino. Even better. There we go. And what is the temperature here? The temperature here is a, is a lie. My Apple Watch is telling me that it's currently 11 degrees. It's it's not. It's more like six or seven. But like yesterday was very windy and the wind was very cold. But yeah. Today no wind, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Yesterday was just. <laughs> uh, yeah. That that's and that's that's a new word, by the way. We're gonna make that a word when when something's just like mind blowingly. Uh, it, we'll just say it's all right so you guys can go ahead and work that into your vocabulary i have no <laughs> i have no issues with that and you know what we missed something incredibly important oh yeah mr gaming thank you for the five dollars oh, i feel like there's like not enough love to send like I, I i can't wait to do the shamisen live stream with you guys though where i actually play tsugaru shamisen live stream right here with you guys that's coming hopefully tomorrow or the next day what i want to do is i want to get the vlog up to you guys first where i play the shamisen in the competition so you guys can see it there right. and then from there get like a live stream going where i can actually play not at the competition not with that pressure just me and you guys i want to be able to just play the shamisen for you guys so that's something i'm really looking forward to does Japan have vegan ice cream? Japan has vegan everything. Yeah. Japan has so much vegan stuff. So interestingly enough, my little brother came to Japan, I'd say a year and a half ago, and he has Crohn's, he has celiac, he has all these dietary restrictions, and there's not a lot of stuff he can eat. He definitely can't have flour, but he found these cakes that are made entirely out of rice. And they were so good. Now, the most interesting thing is the day he was bound to get on the airplane and he was about to go back, my little brother went to the cake shop and bought out the entire place. 
He bought all the cakes. He bought everything <laughs> and packed it. He was like, I'm going to pack my suitcase with all these cakes. He got home and he ate like eight cakes. I've never seen anything like it. It was, I don't know if it, these particular trees, what are these called, Sherry? Shidare Zakura. Shidare Zakura. If you want to say it in a nice, cool, like samurai way, <laughs> Shidare Zakura. Oh, thank you. So, no? That's, Fine. That's your thing. Okay, that'll be my thing then. <laughs> Excellent. I, I might have, while I was telling the Jesse story, I might have missed one or two things on here. Uh, give me a second, gaming. I will find your message. All right. Uh, give me a second to just scroll through. Moving. The, uh, oh, there was a message attached to that $5 yep. and I missed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Moving to Tokyo at the end of this year. Wish to meet you sometime. Wow. Okay, I know this is going to sound really, really weird. But I want to meet like literally everyone. I know. Like, okay, there's only one reason in this entire world why I would ever want to be rich or big or anything like that. And the entire reason is I would love to do some kind of event <laughs> where I could bring like 100, 200 people yeah. and just fly them all out to Japan. <laughs> Like if, awesome. I ever, if I ever get to an insane level and like, you know, bringing in like millions a year, <laughs> I'm going to do like a giveaway where I just fly like a hundred people out to Japan, out to Japan and we do like this awesome on a Tuesday <laughs> and we'll do like the world's biggest and best Tokyo <laughs> Tuesday ever. That's one of my dreams. It's one of my weird little like impossible dreams that's out there, but it's good to have high set goals. So yeah, I want to meet you too. All right, let me just read through these. Oh. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Soren's talking about how I used to do live shamisen practice sessions on Twitter through Periscope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. do that lately. I haven't do that. done that in like a long time, but those are really, really fun. And. Da, 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 da. I think you missed something. I missed something hugely important. <laughs> Mr. Lang37, thank you so much for the 10 pounds. Oh, like every single time one of those like little donations pop up, I never expect it. My heart goes <laughs> duh, 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 duh. and like I'm like, thank you isn't thank you isn't enough. I gotta say something more than thank you, but it only <laughs> only words. thank you comes out. So but I mean it. It's like I really, really do mean it. So this, this park is just spectacular. I wonder if I can get this. Ooh. I feel like I should be doing a transition right now because this is how I do some of my transitions. <laughs> you know, I love doing those. All right. Uh, so I just, I love this space here so much. It's so relaxing. You know, a lot of people come out to this Shamisen Taikai and they get really nervous before they play. They get really stressed. Like there's people in there right now with like almost tears in their eyes just because of like how stressful this can be. But coming out here and getting to see the Sakura at the same time as the Taikai, that makes it all worthwhile. Hey Zam, how's it going, man? The weather is okay. It's, it's cloudy today. It's unfortunate. Actually, I brought the drone out and we were going to fly the drone which we're really looking forward to. But it keeps raining and stopping and raining and stopping. So I, I was actually gonna do this entire live stream with the drone instead of the- uh, Can you do that? I can do the live stream with the drone. Yeah. I really wanted to do the entire live stream on the drone because it picks up the voice from the phone oh, right, as right. I fly it, yeah. So didn't get to do that because of the- Well, we gotta do that in Ehime. Yeah, we can do that in Ehime for sure. All right. How much do wedding videographers charge in Japan? I, I it's person I no to idea. person. Um, not really sure. But I've got a friend who named Taylor Jackson. Uh, if you look up Taylor Jackson photography, he does incredible wedding photography, and he charges like ten thousand dollars a wedding for photo and video. Like he's very famous, right? Yeah, and he's booked yeah. solid so. all the time. So, do you get nervous before you play? Not as nervous as I used to get. Like, I used to get incredibly nervous. Um, I get, I'm a lot better now than I was back then, so. But I still do, I, th I think it's, I actually, I get, here's a, here's an interesting fact. I don't know if Sherry's the same way, but I get really nervous before releasing a video. 
<laughs> you don't. I don't. Like I just stopped there for a second. I was like, you, you don't. I don't. Yeah. Before releasing a video on YouTube, like I think maybe maybe I'm putting like too much of myself into it, but I love the editing process. I love the shooting process. I love being able to jump in there. The video I released today, to anybody who left comments on that and I haven't replied, I promise you the replies and hearts are coming. I just haven't gotten to it yet. I wanted to get this live stream out there. But yeah, I get like, there was the, the video, the I'm back video, yeah. and that Shibuya versus Asaksa video. Mm. I almost got sick on the Shibuya versus Asaksa video. That was one of the longest edits I've ever done. Whoa. And like, I was so excited about it that I almost got sick when I released it, so. <laughs> no, LOL for me. <laughs> so, all right. And you know what? Okay, someone just said, I love that you respond to your followers. And you know what? I'm gonna make this a live stream only thing. I'm gonna give you guys not an answer, but a bit of a background. There's, so there's a question that comes up on my channel more than any other question, and it's the one question that I haven't answered at all. Sherry, do you know what that question is? No. It's, what do you do for a living? It's come ah, up yeah. in this live stream like five times, and like I genuinely, I don't feel good about not, just, just not answering at all. So what I do for a living. A very clear, very detailed, very exciting answer to that question is coming up very, very soon. For anybody who's a regular viewer of the vlog, you'll know that there's that blue bridge that separates Akihabara from the business area of Tokyo. I've told you guys that that, that bridge has a special significance to me and I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of background to that as I share with you what I do for a living here in Japan so that you guys will, will actually have a clear answer to that question. So, yes. And that's exactly, Tim, Tim, Tim ruined it. Tim told everybody. Tim's like, he models pink jackets for a living. Tim, come on, man. That was our secret. What are you doing? So, uh, yeah, um, there we go. I just love being able to walk through. I'm just like, I feel like I could just like walk around this sakura tree in circles just so I can keep getting this going on. You can't do that with the regular sakura tree. See, and I got sakura on my hair now. Totally worth it. Hair. Do I? Yep. Look at that. Sherry's right. I got I got all the sakura. So there we go. Do you have a favorite ekiben or snack for the train? Yes, I do. I have a tradition for every single time that I get on the Shinkansen and that is in the video that I released today and it's something like she's never done it or something like that. That was a really fun video to make. Yeah, it was really fun. Shot, edited and uploaded all within 24 hours. 24 hours which I didn't sleep. You see, woke up at <laughs> 4 o'clock yesterday morning to get out to this taikai and was like, you know what? I, I want to get a video out to you guys today. I want this to be fresh. I want to be able to do this live stream with you and I want to be able to reference that in case, you know, anybody's seen it. And uh, yeah, that, uh, and I'm, we're, we're, I don't want to fall. Yeah, neither one of us want to fall. There, there's this thing here and we're just, there's this slippery slope. So sorry, Sherry, I'm going to jump. What? Ugh, there we go. You don't run, but you jump. Well, you know, we didn't say no jumping. We said no running. Um, you know what? Give me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you were going to say that. I'll, I'll stand right here in case you fall. That way the camera is really close and people can see it. Not I mean, gonna, that way you're safe. I'm not going to fall. Just jump. You can do it. There you go. See? Told you that you could do it. All right. I'm, while we were doing that whole thing, I, I think I missed one or two things here. And yes, Syrian Soper, totally releasing a video on that. Really looking forward to it. Tour guide. You know what? A lot of people, okay. Hey, Camille. Okay, guys, guys. My buddy Camille just jumped into this. Um, and he's from Canada. We went to high school together. He was the guy in that video where I talked about the uh, there being no trash cans in Tokyo. Oh. My, my Polish friend from Canada, oh. and we, we had a couple drinks together and everything. Oh. Good to see you, man. Glad you're in here. So, and Bethany's getting an LOL. Uh, what did the grape do in a Stefan? <laughs> Let out a little wine. <laughs> Love it. 
And what is your story be behind the green tea and tuna onigiri? Okay, you know what? I guess I'm gonna share that. Because I didn't really share it in the vlog yesterday. I just said no. that it's my tradition. Right. So I do have this tradition from like, from ever since the first time that I got on the Shinkansen. And it, it's not like it has like the deepest significance or meaning behind it, but it does have a little bit of a story. The very first time that I ever got on a Shinkansen was like my second day in Japan, like ever. And I went all the way up to Sapporo and from Aomori to Sapporo at that time didn't have a Shinkansen. Ooh, yeah. So I had to take like a local train. But I left Tokyo first thing in the morning and I stopped at a convenience store and I was like, I want something that is uniquely Japanese to take with me on this bullet train ride. I picked two things that I'd never had before in my life, which was a bottle of green tea and a tuna onigiri, a tuna rice ball. Wow. And ever since then, Every single time that I've gotten on a Shinkansen, I grab myself a bottle of green tea and a tuna rice ball. So, and a whole bunch more stuff coming in. Woo! All right. There's one in there that I really wanted to ask. How much longer do you plan on being live for? I, I thought it said, how much longer do you plan on being alive for? I was like, <laughs> I haven't really planned my death. Uh, I, let's see. I don't know. Let me, let me think that one through. I'd say the live will probably go about another five minutes. I don't want to do over too much over an hour. So I, I'd say we'll be live for about five to 10 more minutes. But there's a question in there that I really wanted to touch on. And it was a question about like Tokyo Lens Tours. Yeah, like I've kind of played with the idea in my head mm -hmm. of doing Tokyo Lens tours here in Tokyo at some point. Mm. Like half meet up, half tour, like we just make either a day or a half day of it. Yeah. And like I put up a schedule and it can either be like privately booked or booked as a group. The only thing that makes that difficult is then putting out my videos like, like I, I obviously I can't make a video of like, the, you know what I mean? Right. Like maybe I can, maybe some people are like, oh, I want to be in the video. But maybe some people are just like, oh, I, I don't, I just want to be, I just want to spend the day. Yeah. I want to get a tour, right? Right. So. You can do two. What's that? You can do two, like one where, where you make the video. And yeah, two. but the thing is like, like let's imagine, okay, we're, we're talking this out and you guys are joining us. So let's imagine a situation where you know, we're, I, I get like a whole week of tours booked, right? Yeah. But it's an entire week of people who are like, uh, we want full day tours. We want like full day, like Tokyo lens experience, whatever I'm going to call it. I don't know. Yeah. But we, we don't really want to be in the vlog. Mm. That's like a week of no videos. Uh. I can't do that. I, I, I can't. I want more videos. During if, that time, I'm just gonna take over your channel. <laughs> I could do. There we go. Sherry's gonna be the new Tokyo Lens. And I'll do this. I'm just doing this because it's too heavy. But I'm gonna like film like this. This. <laughs> what, what do you guys think? Is Sherry the new norm? So I think Sherry's the new norm. So everyone's LOLing at Sherry. That was very LOLable. I, I would say. And that was among the more LOLable things that have happened today. So, Sherry needs a beard. Do I? <laughs> um, um, yeah, and then there is, see. there is the option. People have said like, why not just do it like one day a week, or why not just do it like, you know, one or two days a week, or something like that. Yeah. Totally possible. The other thing, the other thing that makes it difficult, and this is just a personal thing, this has nothing to do with scheduling, is that the inspiration for a video will just hit me. And if I do not make it when I'm inspired, if I put too much planning into it and too much thinking into it, it doesn't feel organic for me and I end up deleting it because I don't like the content. Yeah. I love that raw excitement, that raw just pure, I just came up with this idea, I've gotta make it now. Like we just did a video where we went to Akihabara and showed the shops to buy the cheapest electric. That was loud. That was a loud truck. We just did a video where we went to Akihabara and showed the shops to get like the cheapest electronics. That video, the idea just hit me as I picked Sherry up from right. arriving. And I was like, we've got to do this video like today. Yep. 
she said to me, she's like, I need, I need a memory card. And I was like, I have an idea for a video. Let's do it. Yeah. So I have videos planned in the future. Like the videos that I have planned, I have ideas for them. I want to make them, but I try not to think about them until the day that I do them or maybe the day before. But when I get hit with a video idea, when I get hit with, I've got to make this now, it's got to be done. And yesterday was a really good example of that. The video that I put up this morning, there's a reason that I didn't sleep for 24 hours. And it's because I want, I, I, I had this concept for the video that I did yesterday and I wanted to get it up. I wanted to get it up within the day. And I feel like I've just been repeating the same thing for the last five minutes. So moving on. <laughs> so excellent. All right, guys, we are coming to the end of this live stream, but uh, there we are. Hi, I'm a little late. That's totally okay. Have you been to Sendai? Yes, I've been to Sendai. Funny story about the first time that I went to Sendai. I wanted to go out to an area called Matsushima and do like a boat tour. But when I got off of the, uh, when I got off of the train, I went like left instead of right. And I ended up at this shrine and this old man was like, do you speak English? And I was like, yes. He gave me a whole tour of the shrine, which was spectacular. He took me out for lunch what? and then he walked me to the boat tour. Oh. And the, run, the guy who's running the boat tour what? was his friend. Oh. Yeah. And so not only did I get this boat tour, but I got it for free and I got like a personalized tour of the area of Sendai. I'm telling you, I cannot, I cannot understate the value of just walking or of just walk. <laughs> I cannot understate. <laughs> One more. I cannot understate the value of just walking around with a smile on your face, making eye contact with people, and saying hello. It gives you incredible experiences. There are people who come out to Japan and they're like, Japanese people aren't as friendly as people say and whatnot, but. Like, obviously, Tokyo is going to be less friendly than the countryside. We saw that yesterday. Yeah. But if you're friendly, people will be friendly to you. What you put out, what you search for is what you find. So that's a thing that I'm really into lately. All right. Oh, no. I almost accidentally hit something. Oh, Molly. Molly has her Tokyo cat picture Ooh. hanging up. Yeah. That's awesome. Sherry has actually said that she wants to get some of my Tokyo lens prints, which I'll leave below for her office, yeah. which I think would be really fun. I'll definitely do that. Charla's been asking me if I can send her something like ASAP. ASAP. Yeah. I'm looking forward to sending her out something. I think I already know which one I, uh, I'll be sending. There we go. I like that life is a sewer. You get into it and what you get into it depends on what you put out. That's really good. And do these lamps stay in general? Yeah, so these lamps are always here, but the fabric that they put inside them gets changed depending on the season and everything like that. But the lamps stay. And guess what guys? My phone just gave me a battery warning. <laughs> so I guess that means we are really, really coming to the end of the live stream. Uh, so as we walk and wrap this up, I just want to say thank you to every single solitary one of you who has joined us for this live stream today. Thank I don't you. know how we keep doing this. <laughs> like we're like, we're going to do a 10 minute live stream and it's been an hour. Yep, it's been a fun hour with each and every single one of you. Thank you so much. Sending love from us to you. And uh, yeah, guys, obviously, obviously, we'll talk to you real soon. Also, I don't want to forget about this one. Someone just mentioned the bell icon. Uh -huh. It's going to be huge. I mentioned it before, but sometime in the next month or two months, I'd say six to eight weeks, I'm going to be releasing a video on the channel that is only going to be up for 24 to 48 hours. Okay, I, I couldn't do eight with one hand, sorry. It's only gonna be up for 24 to 48 hours. It's gonna be a special video 
for those early subscribers, the early adopters, for you guys, the people who have joined my channel this early, the people who get the notifications and join the live streams and everything like that, there's something that I wanna give to you, something that I wanna do with you, and I'm so excited about it. Like, I'm, I'm whew, calm down. I'm way too excited about it. But make sure that you've got the bell icon on so it gives you the notifications, okay? Because after 24 to 48 hours, that video is gonna be gone and you won't have access to it. So, guys, again, thank you so, so much for joining us today. It's been so much fun. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this live stream up so you guys have access to it. You can re-watch it. You can watch parts that you missed, anything. Don't forget that I love you guys. Have yourselves a really good day. Camille and everyone else, thank you so much for joining.